My name is Dan Addy, Sales and Technical Associate for Detroit Speed, and today we're going to talk about driveline angles in your muscle car using DSC suspension. Everyone knows that Detroit Speed has the best suspension in the industry. However, if it's not set up correctly, you will not have the best ride quality and performance. The DSC Quadrilink rear suspension is unique to any other four-link system because of the patented DSC swivel link. Instead of using heim joints that can bind and break, we use a high diameter rubber bushing to give you a smooth ride quality and then inside each link is a bearing so that one end of the link can swivel 360 degrees leaving your rear suspension free to articulate. With the DSC Quadrilink, you'll use the lower link to adjust your wheelbase and then use the upper link to adjust your pinion angle. With the Quadrilink, DSC recommends negative 2 degrees down pinion angle and if you're using a leaf spring car, you want to be negative 3 to negative 4 degrees down to account for axle wrap up under acceleration. The easiest way to measure your pinion angle is to make sure your vehicle is level and at ride height. You can lift your vehicle up and set it down on blocks to simulate ride height while it's up high enough in the air to get under and measure your pinion angle. With this Camaro up on the lift, we have jacks placed under the rear axle to simulate ride height for this video. Rotate your yoke so that it's level with the ground. And I usually take a small piece of aluminum to put on the yoke so you have a nice flat surface. And then put your smart level up on that surface and read your pinion angle. If you need more pinion angle, you want to shorten the upper link so that the pinion yoke points more towards the ground. And if you need less pinion angle, you want to lengthen the upper link so that the pinion yoke points upwards. The other important angle that needs to be measured is the engine transmission angle. Also, with the car level and at right height, you can take your smart level and place it on the yoke of the transmission. DSC recommends the engine transmission angle to be between minus three degrees and minus three and a half degrees down. One way to adjust your transmission angle is to shim up the transmission mount for small changes. If you're going to be fabricating a cross member, the best way is to mock up your engine and transmission in the vehicle and build your cross member for the correct angle. At this point, if everything's in spec, and your suspension is set up, you're ready to hit the road. Thank you for watching another episode of Detroit Speed's Tech Series. If you have any questions or concerns, call us at 704-662-3272 or visit us at www.detroitspeed.com.